And today we're able to announce uh, that um, good news that we can get at least 150 million liters of water per day uh, from the Cape Flats Aquifer, the Table Mountain Aquifer, and also the Atlantis one. So the Cape Flats Aquifer will deliver about 80 million liters of water per day. The Table Mountain one will deliver 40 million liters of water per day. And the Atlantis Aquifer will deliver 30 million liters of water per day. Also an update on the city's uh, additional water supply from, from, from desalination. We, uh, our plants that we are building at Strandfontein, uh, where we will also take you to go and show you the progress there, our plant at Monmabisi Beach, um, and also the, uh, the smaller one at the waterfront, they're all on track. I, I just want to also use this opportunity again to explain to Cape Tonians um, what the drought, the, the drought charge entails and, and, and what are we really talking about. Because it does seem that you know, there seems to be either lack of information or lack of interpretation of the information. Only 464,216 households in the city of Cape Town out of a total of 707,814 households will be affected by the drought charge. So it's not everyone that will be affected by the drought charge. And of these, only 52,510 will pay more than 150 rand per month. And the rest will pay less. The majority of the people will be paying, uh, if we introduce it, 47 rand per month. We remain committed in the city of Cape Town to lessen the burden on our most vulnerable residents, while at the same time ensuring that Cape Town and the residents of Cape Town receive uh, quality basic services.